nobody ever sees this. <laughs> But here it is. So this is um, this normally disappears when we, when we do stuff on other streams. But it's here today because I've been at my desk all day, and uh, it's it's evening time, dinner time. I've, I'm looking for a change of scenery. Um, for anyone who's well, I'm checking audio to make sure that I'm talking and people can hear me. For anybody who's done, uh, you know, all the quarantine years now that we've, we've had uh, one thing that I've, I've always tried to recommend to people is find a change of scenery don't spend all day at your desk or on your couch or on in your bed because it's, it's really gonna drag on you, you mentally and emotionally and, and uh, I, I as a as a person who has worked from home now for quite a while uh, alternate I, I make sure I, I, I get up to run um, or, or go outside and get some Sun I make a point to try to go grocery shopping, actually, which is might sound weird, but uh, the grocery store is uh, two blocks away, so I will walk to the grocery store and get some groceries twice a week. Uh, and I don't spend all day at my desk because that's very draining. And, and I, I, I structured my day so that I can work at my desk or work in my giant beanbag couch. This is where I will um, stop and relax sometimes and, and have some, some Zooms and live streams and things when I can, when, when it's convenient. So we're here, and we're here with our design team who's on a Zoom. This is actually, I'm sharing my Zoom screen uh, up there, and we're going we're gonna to share and get into a project in a minute. But uh, we're here with the design team from the Lift and Shift Foundation. I, I am the founder of the Lift and Shift Foundation, but I'm also a member of the design team, and, and uh, this is this is my my one of the highlights of my my week and, and my participation with, with the nonprofit is to be able to just uh, not wear my like have responsibilities hat and put on my I want to make stuff and relax and forget about the paperwork and accountants and lawyers and attorneys and the, all of the, the the stuff that comes with running a nonprofit. So it's uh, it's it's cool it's cool for me to to participate and be a design team member and it's cool for me to to um, you know uh, do the things that, that, that the rest of the, the, the gang are doing and uh, I, I dig that I enjoy that it's just helpful that I, I get to help plan and, and if there's something missing I can try to make it happen so uh, that's that's the, the cool part of, of me being on the design team but we're we're getting ready for a workshop that we're gonna host with the Wounded Warrior Project and as, as part of the part of the workshop experience and the things that we're going to give out afterwards, the things that we're going to send out to people when, once we're done with this this workshop and 3D printing things, um, is is some some things that we've actually 3D printed and and our design team here. We over the last week we've been discussing. Well, what do, what do we make? What do we do? Should we should we make keychain? Uh, you know, we, we can we can make other stuff. We can build other stuff. And I I have. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had this this idea in my head for a couple weeks now that a bookmark would be a really cool thing to give to people because it's very easy to print. Uh, bookmarks aren't very complicated; they're kind of flat, so we could probably print uh, batches at a time. Um, and they, they don't they don't use a lot of resources as far as three uh, D print filament because they're so thin and kind of flexible and stuff. And, and it gives us an opportunity to do cool stuff like stick a logo on it or, or uh, uh, emboss it with some some lettering like some stencils uh, that, that kind of stuff so we we started this week we we started up there and I'm going to share in just a second um, the, the, the big zoomed in view but we started this week trying to design a a bookmark didn't work out so well for us because we were in the workshop in the, the workspace in the tinker yard workspace together all like mashing stuff trying stuff uh, and if you've ever experienced that in, in tinkercad one of the cool features is you can share your workspace so that more than one person is in the workspace at a time and, and it's it's a, it's, a, it's a super cool feature but if you have more than one person in there if you have a lot of tabs open uh, uh, it eats up a lot of memory in Chrome and or Firefox or whatever you're using uh, I happen to be using Chrome, and, and it, it kind of like freezes on me, and I can't do stuff. So uh, we we didn't get a lot accomplished. 
uh, as a group together. So uh, I'm, I'm going to take my time tonight to kind of work out a, a design so that uh, I can contribute it to the, the group. All of a sudden, things are very dry here. Um, but uh, that's, that's, that's the goal for tonight. We're going we're to take a break from Battle of the Bots, building stuff, and, and turn our attention to this workshop that we have in the, a couple weeks, the end of the month, the end of August. So without taking any more time to, to uh, you know, from my soapbox, if you're curious about the nonprofit, if you're curious about the foundation, there are, there are uh, links actually over there on, on the Twitch screen. And you can go to, uh, the, 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 the handle is we lift and shift. All one word. You can find it anywhere on the internet. Uh, that's our, our email or our, our website address. Uh, every every social media handle I think is matched to that, so it, it's it's very easy to find. Not not too complicated. We try to, to make it uh, simple as possible when we set everything up. So excuse me. And uh, so we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my views right now. We're gonna we're gonna take a peek first at one of our design team designs there we go yes all right this is working out well tonight the, from my couch from my giant giant bean bag so this is this is a bookmark and it's a cool bookmark design I dig it and it's got our it's got our little logo is the arrow just the the just the arrow none, none, none of the the uh, stenciled in details because this this might actually be a challenge to print if we try to work in all of the details to it so we're gonna leave just this, just this hollow arrow at the top, and and I dig that. And and you can see in, in there it says lift and shift, and it's got this this prong in the middle. It's basically just like a giant paper clip that we've we, we're gonna we're gonna try to do some test prints and things with it. <coughs> in fact, I I uh, just an hour ago swapped out uh, some of our film in our printer, so we should get a test print of of this bookmark and the bookmark I will design next um, and we'll, we'll we'll run some test prints to see if we need to make any edits or anything else but this is this is a good first start right here so I'm gonna I'm gonna wander over to to my workspace you can see here's where I have logo designs from an old project this is called a uh, logo keychain if you can see it uh, you can't see it right there but on the twitch screen but um, we can see it in the design team view so uh, uh, quite a while ago, we did this project. We did this workshop where we made uh, keychains, and this was my attempt at our our nonprofit's logo as a keychain, and it turned out pretty cool. I was actually really impressed with how this one printed. This one printed because it's so thin, and it's got these spaces inside of it. It it printed so very thin that uh, the light would shine through the, the, the these spaces if you held it up uh, to to the sunlight. Or to a light source, you could kind of like see. It was almost translucent, like a little, like a little uh, light will come through on that that piece because it was it was probably only one or two layers thick. Um, this whole part is one millimeter, one point oh nine. If we zoom in as close as we can on it here, you can probably see that. Let's do that. Let's zoom in very close, and you can see this part is only one one millimeter, basically one millimeter thick. So that these these inlays right here, um, you know, look almost halfway through. So it, it's less than a less than a, a half a millimeter thick right there. That's that's one maybe two layers uh, for a three D printer. But then we, we we have down here we have these silhouettes and these uh, outlines and things, and the actual part without any any uh, anything laid into it in the middle. Um, very cool. That came from a, a, a different project, but we're gonna we're gonna try this. So this was my attempt at the bookmark, and I like this. We might keep this one around, but I have an issue with this because it kind of looks like the Punisher skull. Uh, if you take a step back and look at it, um, and I, I'm 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 all for like um, what are what are the superhero, the, like the Marvel, super Marvel stuff. I don't want to infringe on any copyrights. Uh, I, I think that, that that is not copyrighted, but I also don't really want to promote things that um, might be misconstrued as uh, 
other groups or other issues uh, that are going on, especially today with, with politics the way they are. Uh, I, I, I want to redesign the bottom of this so that it looks less like a Punisher skull and, and more like a bookmark. So I'm actually going to work on this now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start all over, I think, because I've, I've, I have a different idea in mind. Sort of on, on, along the lines of the, the same idea that our design team put together. So let's let's start with a circle. Let's crank this circle up. Let's drop this circle down. We'll, we'll stick with one millimeter for now. And uh, 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters is about one inch. Is just less than one inch. Uh, 20 is about 25, 26 millimeters is an inch. So uh, let's go with um, let's go with 30, 30 by 30 for this. That'll give us like an inch and a half, almost an inch and a half. So 30 by 30 to give us that circle right there. And let's drop a box on this thing, and we will flatten the box to one millimeter. And we will make the box 30 millimeters wide. Which is rough. It's like one in seven sixteenths, one and three eighths of an inch. So it's not bad for uh, for the size of a a um, uh, bookmark. And let's move this up right there so that we get kind of in the middle. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. Uh, I'm going to cheat on dimensions here since we know this this orange circle is thirty millimeters. I am going to size this red square at 15 millimeters, which is exactly half. Now I'm going to align these on the bottom edge like that. So now I know that the upper part of this square is dead in the middle of that circle. Now I can pull this down and it doesn't ever change. So I've got the, the, the center this part right here is in the center of that circle right there. So uh, it's just a, a little trick that I, I am going to use today. So let's see. Let me think. Um, how how long? Uh, a a bookmark is maybe like five or six inches. So if we take twenty five ish millimeters times six is about one hundred and fifty millimeters. So let let's do like a let's do like a one thirty here. Ooh. That is a long bookmark. Let's do one. Let's do one ten. Cool. Actually, we we could probably do shorter. I feel like bookmarks. Book. We can get away with. Uh, so we've got to. We can add fifteen millimeters to the end. Oh, and and we're gonna add more to the bottom here. So, let's really let's take this to like eighty. Like that. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's do that. Bookmark. Okay, now we've got a, a, a decent shape right there. I feel like I want to uh, not be not be flat, not be square. I want to try to change things up. So it does. It, I mean, this one kind of, while it does look give the Punisher look, it also gives that. I broke my tongue depressor look <laughs> or possibly like um, I was extra hungry eating my popsicle look uh, or um, you know it, it, it's it, it's a little flat and that's uh, I, I I was um, challenged on Tuesday with our internet connection so I, I didn't get to, to, to do any fancy editing but I feel like for this one I want to do some fancy editing so let's Let's keep the outside the same shape, the same um, parallel lines going up and down because this is going to go in a book, right? So, so if we if we try to like taper edges, like if I were to do um, if I were to do something like this, if I were to move this, yeah, like like. A, uh, an angle and 
pull this up 80 millimeters like that and then make it oh, nope wrong let's try that five right there so if I were to make that a whole oh let's make it this uh, shorter also two and make it a hole and drag it over here so if I were to I was thinking about you know tapering edges and things so if I were to put this on the outside here and kind of shave off parts of the bookmark then it, it gets a little weird right because then you've got this bookmark that's pointing at the bottom <laughs> and uh, it, it 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 doesn't fit in, I mean like, like pages are square books are square it, it, doing this isn't very productive for us but we can we can totally put this inside because we need a like a prong like a fork prong so we could totally do this part but like this and make our little prong on the inside so I, I think I want to I, I want to do something like that on the inside so let's duplicate this part and then let's mirror it let's flip it this way just like that and we will start to split these parts like that cool getting better let's combine these let's join them so I can move them together yes check it out that's starting to look better okay let's do this then so let's do let's align this up really really well let's uh, center it here and align it to the oh it's already aligned to the bottom okay cool so if I s join these now so now I've got this this like M shape sliced out and that's a, a little better a, a little I mean it's not better it's just different it's a it's like a different shape <coughs> but back up let's back up I can do one better nope undo we can drop in a little square right here we can do, we'll do two millimeters tall Oops, sorry we'll do two millimeters tall and we will do I want to get close I want to see how, how wide that actually is right there so let's let's zoom in a little So let's let's try this. Let's try grabbing this part and now this part, and let's let's align them. Oh, and they they do they line up great right there. No, until I move it. Oh, I broke it. So let's join those. Now we've got this this shape. This weird like vampire teeth shape. Let's let's uh, make sure that they're aligned because I was moving parts around. Yes, see, I, I butchered it. I, I moved them. Let's try that now. Now we've got that. Cool. Now we can add a little circle to the bottom here. Again, I don't know how big that is though. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try some things out here. I do know that it's one millimeter tall. So let's try, let's just try 10 by 10. And let's slide it over. That might be a little too big, right? Yep, just a tiny, tiny bit. What about nine? Ooh, nine is just a little bit too big too. So let's try 9.25. Now let's align these and see if see if we get them. Yes, there it is. 9.25 seemed to work. 
Cool. So now we've got our, a rounded bottom to this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna combine those. Oh, uh, this is starting to look kind of kind of cool. Kind of like a uh, a. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but now we'll we'll go back to this part. So this is 30 millimeters wide. So let's make this 30 millimeters wide. Like that. Let's turn it. Make it one millimeter tall. Cool. Now I'm, I want to use the work plane. Oh yes, I want to use the work plane. I've been dying to use the work plane. So the work plane lets you change the blue grid to face there. So now we can put the work plane this way and line it up there. Now let's align these this way. Oh, wow, the work plane changes. <gasps> Are you kidding? If you do the work plane thing, look at look at the alignment. Oh, dude, that, that's crazy. The alignment will now will, um, so we can set it in the middle. And set it in the middle this way. Oh wow, cool! And it's it's attached. It's like part of. Dun dun dun. So let's put the work plane tool back. Oh wow, that is that is kind of cool. That is cool, dude. I I I'm like. I kind of dig that. Except it looks weird now. Now it looks weird, like. It's got the circle point in the middle. It's got this, but it's got these square edges on the side. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe we can find a fillet. Hmm. Let's go look for some sh the fillet shape. So there is there is a shape in the shape generator. It's called fillet. Oh look, let's search shapes. It's called fillet. No. Oh, maybe not community. Maybe. Oh yeah, community. Nope, 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 nope. Let's try the word corner. I don't know how people would call that. And I'm realizing right now that if, if people were streaming and catching the streaming, they can't see this part of the menu. So we will go Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. I think it's very far down, honestly. But there's a shape called a fillet. You're getting close, you're getting very close. Or meta fillet, or uh, I think it's called meta, it might be called meta fillet. Is that it? Nope. Getting close though. Right there. We can use the cycloid. Nope. The cycloid has a, a edges. I could sh we can we can use the cycloid and shave the edges at worst case. So I'm gonna leave it there. Just in case we can't find the fillet. There it is. Fillet, meta fillet, 
is what it's called, excellent. So let's delete the cycloid and let's check out the metaphyllic. Let's flip the metaphyllic this way. Let's make the metaphyllic one millimeter tall. Ooh, this is different now. So it's a fillet or a camphor. So a, a fillet in, fillets and camphors are actually features in uh, Fusion 360 and Autodesk and uh, 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 SolidWorks, uh, all of these programs that, that you can make stuff in. This is a, a, a feature where you can make a rounded edge on things and it's called a fillet if it's rounded and it's a camphor if you cut it. Um, on like an angle like that. So th this is this is a very cool feature to use in here, and I, I love it for the fact that you can make things rounded, and give them a rounded edge. So we could we could use this on the outside as a whole to like cut away rounded parts. So we know that our our for example, we know that our um, our radius on our circle was fifteen or thirty by thirty. So if this were half a fillet. We could line this up to actually cut away the same circle. Radius down here that we have at the top. So if I, I'm, I'm just going to show this like that, so it would it would change. Oh, I made it too small, so you can't really tell. Wait, is this? Oh, let's do two millimeters here. Okay, like that. Okay, so this is actually going to cut away the the round part, like kind of like that. So that that round angle is the same round angle from the top because we've shaved off the uh, the, the metal fillet or the actual little fillet. Um, well, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Well, actually, what I want to do is I want to match this, this outside edge, this outside circle. So I'm going to try my best here. Pull this down and match the outside circle like that. So let's check this out. So that, that's a, that's a decent match for the outside circle. Let me move this box out of the way here so we can see actually see it so that's a, a like a, a pretty decent match for the outside circle so I'm gonna make this a hole again like that now I'm gonna scale this down I'm gonna hold this this button the shift button and I'm gonna scale this down so that we have the same arc for the inside as we do for the outside that. Now I'm going to lift this up just a bit again and make this two millimeters. Oh no, we're going to make this one, <coughs> excuse me, one millimeter. Why is that? Look, oh, because it's off. Okay, we'll fix that when we align. We'll align this and fix it all. But now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to flip the duplicated part. And I'm going to send it over there that. Yes. Okay, cool. So now we're getting a very, very rounded part like that. Now let's align this so I can lift them up. So you can see the align tool here doesn't have them with the same height. So we just align them to the same height. Oh, let's let's also align them to the middle, right? So I, I think there's a tiny, tiny gap in the middle right there of the, blue, the two blue pieces. Right now it looks like there's a super tiny gap in the middle. So I'm going to try to align this. so that it fits right in there. Now I'm going to join them together. Why does this still look off? Hmm. 
That is weird. Let's try... What is the height on this? One millimeter. The height here is... One millimeter. Let's align these again then. Lift them up. They seem to be in the same place. That is very weird that there's like a, a line there now still. Very interesting, but I think that, that that line won't show up in a print because it's so small, but we will, we will test that. We will actually, I will uh, run a test print uh, obviously this week, but it, you can see the, the gap in the middle between those two parts disappeared. So I think the line might just be a, some kind of weird flaw. But here's so here's my my generic shape for a a bookmark, and we've we've got a couple different uh, shapes here, so we can see that the angle is different on this part coming through the bottom here. But it it, it does look like just like a, a big paperclip also. Um, oh, I should add the logo in too. So let's. Let's grab this, let's duplicate it, steal it, bring it up here. I'm gonna hold down the shift button so I can shrink this down a little. Let's make it a hole. Cool. I will lift it up some so we don't lose it. Let's zoom in, because uh, it, it looks really far away so I can't really, I'm gonna butcher it. Yes, it, see, it still looks kind of big. Well, it might fit right there. That might work. Let's let's drop it down one more. Because I have Snap the Grid on, so yeah, there, there we go. Cool. So let's do that. Let's align this again. We will align that part right in the middle. Combine them. And... Dun da da. Dun da da. There is our part. So I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out about this now that I'm looking close at it because I feel like if we turn around and look this way, we've got this, we've got this giant, like, we've got this giant um, tongue depressor looking thing, like the middle of a paperclip there that you can clip into a, the, the, the book like to, to, to pin a page or you can leave this whole thing in uh, in between the pages but what I'm looking at is <coughs> excuse me now that I cut out the the star the, the arrow there's only this little tiny bit of plastic here keeping this whole thing attached so I, I think what I'm looking at here is is this this whole end might snap off after you know I don't. I, I. I. couldn't imagine how many uses. But after after many uses, uh, what will happen is this middle part will snap off, and it'll snap off around the uh, right here around the, the the arrow. So I'm not so sure I want to to do that. But I think what I want to do is um, maybe undo that. Oh, let's. Uh, oh, I see chat. Yeah, make it shorter. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make the the arrow smaller. I think my my Tinker Cat's getting mad at me at this point. Yeah, my Tinker Cat is definitely getting mad at me at this point. Undo, undo all of that. Undo that. Yeah, there we go. So I think what I'm going to do here is still grab the this part and make this even smaller. So we can send it up higher. Like that. That's a little better. Ooh, we can also drop this into that like this, I still feel like the error might be um, that it snaps off, but snaps off lower at this point. So maybe, 
Maybe we leave this up here. Maybe, maybe we lower this this space, this gap right here. Maybe we drop that down some. Maybe I add a another box. Yeah, because uh, you, you're not. Or or or, or 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 put it at the bottom. Oh. Yeah, that could be too. Well, I'm looking at the top, at, at the very top. You're not going to get be able to get a page in here. Like, if we try to put a page clipped into here, it's gonna it, it might actually tear it. So maybe maybe the smart thing to do is put a box, like c add more material in in here. And uh, um, stop that from happening because you know yeah if, if you if you try to like jam this down on a piece of paper, there's a good chance that it... There's a good chance my phone starts ringing. And that is definitely spam and a scammer. Because it's from a weird area code, and they just need to verify some credit card information. <laughs> So uh, we, we, we don't need to answer that part. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's let's try this. Let's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying was um, there's a chance that if we, if, if I'm reading a book and I, I'm using this to clip pages in, I might actually tear the pages because this, this the point gets so pointy. So maybe we, maybe we move our, our arrow out for a minute. And we go back to the basic shapes. We grab a block. And we set it in here. Like that. That way there's extra material so you can't like tear your page. Because there's a there's like a, a block at the top to stop you. Let's try that. Let's let's actually just try that. I'm gonna I'm gonna align it just just to make sure. I, I oh it, it it's right in the middle. And join it. Why do they never look? All these parts look. You know, they have the that like. Oh, it, that one is. Off. Let's do this. Zero. Zero. Like that. That is weird because it's giving us the, the uh, like my shape isn't the right shape. Oh, it's 1.12. Why? How is it 1.12 again? I'm going to ungroup all of this because that's why my, my little thing at the, the other end is not working. Ungroup. Ungroup. There we go. So this is 1.12, and, and that's weird. So 1. So let's join those parts. There we go. Yeah, it's, that's better. It fits together now. Let's let's do that again. I want to try that again though. Yep. Point. Well, we got one, like that. Let's set it at zero. Let's set this big guy at zero. Make sure it is point one. Let's try to join those now. That is so weird. Okay, we'll come back to our, our red part here. 
make that one. And lift it up to zero. And let's just double check and see if, if this is, see this is back to 1.11. You are terrible. One, one, zero. Oh my gosh, how is that happening? It's so mad at me. I don't understand how that keeps happening. I mean, you're seeing this, right? It, it's 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 just Tinkercat is is a little angry. Yeah, it's a little feisty today. I will try to group all three. How about that? Yeah. We will see what happens there. Okay, let me grab the little red one. It is one. And is it one from the top? Zero, one, zero, very weird, this is, it's, it's not going to line up again. I might need to export this into its own, like, workspace. And, uh, and, huh, but there is space up here. Now we can add this back and line it up. Without fear, here we go, it looks looks better if, if that part comes back. The hole is not coming out yet, but once once the the it catches up to me. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, see now everything looks lined up again. Oh no it doesn't. But it's close. But but this is this is this is not a bad a bad design, really. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm okay with it. Like, I'm happy with it. It looks different. It looks like a, a like a giant paperclip. Like, it looks like a paperclip you buy at Staples, like one of those big plastic ones. And uh, I think that's kind of funny. I am gonna copy this, and I am going to drop it in with your paperclip right there. And now we've got a couple of them. So we can, I will print both of these uh, sometime before Tuesday, and we, we, can, uh, we can take some peeks and see if there's anything we need to edit um, from either of them. I like, I like both of these. I think they're both uh, uh, cool and different. So what else? Um, I think two, book, two bookmarks are, are cool. Uh, I I would I'm thinking of letters on the side like this. We uh, we talked about text. So uh, while I'm mentioning it, um, we talked about text, and I think the sans mono is probably the better option. So um, maybe like a uh, um, what would I text? I suppose. We could just do big lift and shift like that. Yep, like that. And I think I would do height of two millimeters. 
and I would turn this 90 degrees and shrink it down. Let me move the text box out of the way. I would turn this, and I can't see the number now. Ninety degrees. Like that. Let's change the color so we can read it. All right, we'll shrink it down something like that. And maybe stick it on a, a one of these spines right here. If I were going to do some text, that might be what I'd do with it. So that it's sticking up just a little bit. In fact, I wouldn't even raise it up that much. I might do a um, 1.6 millimeters so that I have three layers on my, my printer. And do something close to that. And do a uh, four millimeters tall, and then I would slip it in like that, right there. Is is how I would probably do the letters. That way, it's 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 set up like like embossed, raised, but um, not to the point where it would butcher pages. But I'm going to leave it like that. I'm, I'm not going to attach it. I'm not going to combine it because I want to print the, the actual structure of the, the bookmark uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow or this weekend. Uh, today's almost good. Almost done. Yeah, yeah that, it, that, 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 that's, uh, that's not bad for design for uh, like, uh, something, something different. That way we have, two, we have two bookmarks and they don't look the same. Oh, but I, I got something in my eye earlier and... Sorry, I'm digging here for a minute. Super annoying uh, to get stuff in your eye. Yeah, so I, I, I like both these designs. I think we could probably stick with some something simple like two, and, and these would be things that we would give away at, at events. Uh, something with a, you know, branded, like a logo type thing. And, and uh, that's cool, that's fun. I, I kind of dig this whole thing here so um yeah i think that's that's about it for the night um wow that that that, that worked out pretty good uh time wise so we're uh, we're uh, closing in on seven o'clock here local but uh the end of the hour everywhere so um on this note we are gonna have a robot battle on saturday and I don't think that format will change too much, but we have some hardware on the way, some batteries, some, some switches, uh, some things we can plug into our robots. So I think uh, after, uh, as we get into September, some of these streams will be more about building things on robots and making cool stuff happen. So I'm, I'm excited about all of that. I see the question. What would you, would you change the height of the other one? Would I change? Uh, oh, you mean would I change the height of yours? Let's see. Um, no, I, I think well, one point oh nine millimeters. Okay, so this this is actually like a really really good question. And as I'm zooming in, the, the text is getting smaller and smaller. So it, it, it's not going to show on the screen, but 1.09, I wouldn't change because, and here's, here's the thing, um, here is one millimeter, even though it says 1.11 millimeters now, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change the height um, for this because as I put it in the, 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 the printer, Oh, the length. Oh, the length. No, I, you know, I, I, I think, I, I, I think they're both short bookmarks. Honestly, usually when you think about a bookmark, you think a bookmark is like six inches, nine inches, something like, like, uh, you know, hand length, like a, like a thumb to pinky kind of thing. But 
But um, I think for a 3D printed part that is about a millimeter thick, uh, that, that is basically a paper clip, uh, the, the the traditional size uh, of like like up and down the page might actually be bad for us because we're 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 using it to um, not just um, uh, not just uh, you know mark one page but but that 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 prong in the middle that can like clip pages um, needs to needs to have a certain amount of thickness to it or, or it'll start snapping off so I don't think I would make it thinner and at, at the, the same time I don't think I would make it thicker because then it, it it's less of a bookmark and more of a doorstop but um, <laughs> yeah I mean uh, uh, let's 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 be honest uh, if, if we start making it too thick uh, it's it's gonna uh, damage your book and damage the spine and stuff so I think one millimeter is cool. It might might be too thin. I don't know. Um, but like I said, I'll 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 run uh, I'll run one of the prints over the the weekend, and the the fractional part, like the point one one or point oh nine, is actually not going to show up on the printer because we we've, we've kind of talked about this before. But I'm going to print in a way so that there are layers, and the way the the, the printer works is it it puts uh, like a little string of filament. On top of another string of filament, and those those strings are 0.2 millimeters each. So, basically, each layer in the, the printer is, or in, in any of these 3D prints, is 0.2 millimeters for us. And that means that uh, if we try to if we make our part at 1.1 millimeters, the the printer is going to pretend like that 0.1 millimeters doesn't exist, and it's only going to print the one millimeter portion. So I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't stress over either of our parts being off a little bit because our printer is gonna print it's gonna skip everything that's not uh, like a, a multiple of point two if that makes sense so <clears throat> I, I I think they're they're cool from a, a length point and a width point because if if they're if they're they're too long we're gonna we, we uh, run the risk of um, uh, um, uh, basically bunching the page. I, I don't I don't know the right word for it, but bunching the pages up um, as as we do this. So so the, the the further down you put this bookmark onto it, the the bigger the crease you're going to make at the top as you like drive this down towards the bottom of the page. So I I think like. Uh, Half of a book is, is a is a reasonable length of this. We don't want it like folding the entire book or the you know an entire section of pages uh, to the point like, like my design is probably worse for that to be honest. Where where uh, the pages are going to get pinched and and bend more. So um, I think to, to answer the question, uh, the the shorter bookmark might work out better for us. But we, we, like I said, we'll, we'll we'll print it and try it out. Uh, I'll, I'll probably share it on uh, Tuesday, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll decide whether we want to skip one of these altogether or whether we can make some edits, that kind of stuff. Cool, I dig it. All right, well I think that's that's the end of our stream. I will I will end the stream on a on a zoomed in note so I can. people hi hey there we go okay so yeah I'm gonna just we're gonna disappear thanks for catching this thanks for joining us if you are curious about anything that happens with the nonprofit there are some links o over in, in about us things um, come back for the weekend and uh, oh yeah if you want to join you want to sign up any of that stuff it's all there um, thank you to uh, obviously our design team, which uh, are are part of all of this and and uh, help drive a lot of it. Uh, Wounded Warrior Project, who's you know working with us to to host some of these events, uh, and I think that's really all I have to thank for anybody 
particular. There, there's some sponsor stuff down there that, uh, like, uh, you, you, you'll, you'll see if you go to our sign-up stuff. So that's it. That's all. See you on the weekend. If you are not around on the weekend, um, don't do anything crazy. And uh, remember to take some time for yourselves.